hello everyone lady mbungu here welcome to my channel i don't usually do these types of uh, videos but i th i saw that a lot of mamas need help okay so i wanted to show you an easiest one of the easiest way ways to clean your f entire fridge in like less than 25 minutes um i see that a lot of mamas are struggling doing it so this is why i wanted to share what i know and what has been helping me out for years and years okay so to begin this is what i do okay a lot of ladies have noticed they take out everything from the fridge all of the shelves all of the food that's not really it's hard it's good but it's very hard on you the easiest way to do this honey do it shelves by shelf by shelf okay i call it layer by layer so you see that i removed the first um shelf and i removed all of the food that was on top of that uh, layer and then I'm going to wash definitely wash my glass very well I uh, use whatever works for you but the idea is you take the first one the first layer you wash it you clean it and then when I'm done cleaning it I'm going to put it back and but before I put it back what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go back to my fridge and clean the first basically the first st uh, step the first layer the first shelf i'm going to uh yeah the first shelf i'm going to go ahead and clean it very well before i put the glass back so this is exactly what i'm going to do and always you know close your fridge right you don't want to leave your fridge open it really does uh, ruin your fridge in the long run so after i removed my glass now i'm going to go back to my fridge and clean that area and what i do i use i use a um a cloth that i'm going to you know make it wet i'm going to make it wet with water um and i'm going to basically squeeze it so that it's not dripping the water isn't dripping on my cloth and i'm going to clean it that way and um i only use water i don't use anything else i use water i think it's more organic that way so i only use water i don't use soap or anything else because this is the fridge and i don't like using stuff like soap inside my fridge and it works for me if you have uh, tough stains, then you may want to use a, a scrub. You know what I mean? Just scrub it a little bit with water and it's going to work. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And once I'm done cleaning very well inside my fridge, I'm going to put back my glass. And that's what I'm going to do for everything else. So layer by layer, I am cleaning putting it back and then go down again, take the food out, clean and put it back. This is very easy. It's not going to be, it's not going to be confusing for you because what happens is when you take everything out, sometimes you don't know how to put it back. You don't remember what order, what order everything was. So it's, it's kind of hard for you to put back, but when you do it this way, it's so easy. I just took the first layer out, put it back easy. I know exactly where it goes and you keep doing the same thing for the remaining, all of your shelves. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and play some music and you just watch what I'm doing. Very easy. This is common sense. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let me play you some organic music. <clears throat> Seigneur, tu m'as séduit. Oh, et je me suis laissé séduit. Tu m'as terrassé, tu m'as vaincu. Et tu étais le plus fort. Malheur, malheur, malheur à moi, si je n'annonçais 
la parole, la parole du Seigneur. Tout doux, tout doux, tout doux, tout doux, tout doux, tout doux. You see, so basically that's what I'm doing. So I cleaned my first layer. I now took the second one. And now before we continue, I wanted to put a little pause and do a quick review of Pop Stroke. This is a nice golfing place. You can take your families. You don't have to have experience really, but I would suggest bring someone who knows how to play golf a little bit to make it easier for you. I wanted to do a quick review of this place. It's amazing as far as the golf course. Very clean, extreme. Oh my goodness. The cleanliness is so top. However, one thing, it's the food, okay? Don't buy food there only because I the food is not it's so expensive but it's not very tasty. Um so good thing this is a town square so you have so many other places where you can get food but everything else besides the food was amazing. The golf course is so clean. I mean very very clean. I didn't see any any single insect any single bug any single spit on the floor it was so clean spotless clean that i love the kids enjoyed we had a great time okay i wanted to mark a little pause and do a quick review of pop stroke located at the town square a very good place you can bring a very good experience okay if you never golfed before so let's go back into our cleaning the fridge so this is me cleaning the second uh, layer so pretty much it's going to be the same thing i'm going to do it for the freezer and i'm going to do it for the refrigerator very very easy if you do it this way it's going to be less stressful it's going to drain you a little bit less than taking everything out and then all, you know all of the food out all of the shelves out clean it and then put them back and then put the food back honey you are stressing yourselves a lot okay do it this way and i promise you it is 80 80 percent more i mean it's so it's so like it's so easy much much easier 80 percent easier than the way you do it by taking everything out and then putting everything back honey it is not easy the way you guys do it okay so Usually when I organize my uh, freezer, this is the freezer, okay, on the left side, it's my freezer. Uh, I put my like stuff like bread, um, pancakes, uh, french fries, stuff like that. I put it at the very top. And then my second layer, I put um, stuff like meat, chickens, um, beef, in smaller quantity because I have a a big freezer that I I keep outside like on my in the storage in my backyard so I put a lot of meat there stuff like you know big pounds of uh, meat I keep it in my freezer outside and then I keep a smaller portion in my freezer inside the house pretty much so this is why I don't like overcrowding my um, refri my refrigerator, my freezer. So I keep smaller portions inside and bigger portions outside in my freezer. Okay, so isn't it easy already? Like you can tell if you do it this way, it's going to be very, very, very much so much easier. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do again is play some music for you so you can just go ahead and watch. Oh, verite, oh, verite, la lumière de mon cœur. De mon cœur, ne laissez pas le ténèbre, mais parlez, mais parlez. Je délivre vers le chose d'ici bas. 
à toi seul vérité, la vie, à toi seul vérité, le bonheur. Longtemps, Seigneur, nous n'avions pas connu ton nom. Seigneur, en ces moments. All right. So now I'm going to do the right side. Okay. So this is my refrigerator side. And if you notice my my refri refrigerator, it's not so bad. It's so it's not so dirty. Because what I do is on a daily basis i'll just you know if i notice a little bit of a stain i'll just grab my damp cloth and i'll just wipe okay so on a daily basis i do wipe a lot so this is why it's not so hard for me when i'm cleaning when i'm entirely cleaning my my fridge it's not super hard because i clean it on a daily basis so we are going to do the same process. Remove the shelf, the shelf, and uh, clean on the inside. Come back, you know, put it back. And this way, it's so much easier, okay? It's so much easy to keep your fridge clean all the time. That way, I just hate when the refrigerator is so dirty. You know what I mean? That's where you keep your food. It has to be clean. And also, I don't like overcrowding my fridge or overcrowding my house really i don't like crowd i hate overcrowding anything okay so uh but i did need to go get more grocery groceries yes i need more groceries my fridge is a bit empty and uh i also whenever i cook uh, I, I keep my food in the refrigerator that we can eat maybe the next day uh, before I freeze uh, some of them. All right. So go ahead and just enjoy the view and just watch. Okay. Longtemps, Seigneur, nous n'avions pas connu ton nom, Seigneur. En ces moments, nous te cherchons à toi seul, vérité, la vie. À toi seul, vérité, le bonheur. Pourquoi donc on nous laisser, Seigneur Jésus? À qui donc irons-nous, ô oh, Seigneur? All right, so now it's time to clean the outside of my refrigerator so i cleaned layer by layer this took me about 25 minutes and now i'm just coming on the outside and just again with my damp cloth i'm just going to go ahead and wipe and uh one one tip i can give you that my sister dion gave me is you know on on uh what is this what is it called again? Stainless, yes, yeah, stainless steel. If you want it to be shiny, you want it to, you want to clean it so good. Use um, a little bit of, um, a little bit of uh, alcohol. Yeah, you put a little bit of alcohol and you clean it that, that way. It's going to remove all of those stains. So this is after I was done with everything. So again, uh, and I also cleaned my my uh, eyes. You know where. You put ice. I also clean the inside. I replaced my um, my filter. I replace it every six months. I have it set up to where the every six months it comes a chipped to me every six months. That way I am not forgetting to replace it. So this is just uh, how where I store my cheese uh, at the bottom. I store a little bit of. Uh, green onions um 
I I have a lot if you watch my previous videos stuff like green onions uh, celery stuff like that I store a lot of it in my freezer but this is um, I, I just keep a little one in the refrigerator in case I want to make a recipe and I want to put some of the green onions on it the fresh ones but this is it's done it's clean it's very well put together and uh, once you open my fridge, it smells good and it's so clean. And this is, I'm taking the opportunity to uh, also show my ladies, you know, anyone, not just the ladies, anybody really. So this is one way to keep your sponges, you know, all of your sponge that you use to wash the dishes or whatever you do, whatever you use them for. I usually boil water and once the water boils, I turn it off and I put all of my sponges that I use to wash the dishes, to clean my corners. I put it inside and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I let it sit for about 10 minutes. I do this every week. Once a week, I do it just to kill, you know, the extra germs um, that our sponges absorb. You know, we wash them with soap, but... I feel that it's not enough. So every week I'll do this, let the water boil, turn it, turn the stove off and let my sponges sit for about 10 minutes. And something else that um, a lot of people don't do is your wooden, your wooden spoons. I do this at least again every week. I will boil water and put my wooden spoons inside and let them boil for about 10 minutes. Honey, this is so important. Look at all the oil. Can you see that already? You can see all the oils coming out. These are stuff that even after you wash your wooden spoons very well, honey, those oils get absorbed on the inside. You don't ever get them out. And this is... The only way you can get them out is by letting your spoons boil for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. For about 10 minutes. This is what I do. I'll let it boil for about 10. Look at the oil. You see that? And this is because I boil mine mines every week. Imagine if you don't ever do it, how much oil is going to come out okay so i wanted to share a little bit of this knowledge i hope this video has helped you a little bit or you know has uh, put some a little bit of a knowledge or maybe making your life a little bit easier okay so i do want to thank you for watching uh thank you for watching oh my god <laughs> like thank you for watching because i was watching a lot but thank you for watching and uh you have a good evening a good day wherever you are and stay blessed look at my water after i boil for 10 minutes you see how it's blurry mm -hmm. yeah this is one way to clean your wooden spoons okay well it was a pleasure making this video i hope you have a fantastic day bye